Methane hydrates have fascinated the community for, for decades now. This stuff is cool. So methane hydrate is a combination of water molecules and methane, where the methane sits inside a cage of these water molecules and it forms at high pressure and low temperature. The methane hydrates that we commonly talk about are in the Arctic uh, and the other very common places on continental margins. So as you go into the offshore, the combination of cold water and high pressure leads to a province of, of methane hydrates. Methane hydrates uh, are a huge potential energy resource. Um, there's an estimate that there is 7,000 trillion cubic feet of methane uh, available in these hydrate reservoirs in the, in the Gulf of Mexico alone. Uh, to give you a sense of, of, of what that means, that's 250 years worth of uh, gas given our present consumption rates uh, in the United States. So uh, it's a tremendous potential supply. The problem is how to produce methane hydrates economically and environmentally. We don't understand uh, how the material behavior of these rocks changes as we produce them. If you take that methane hydrate from depth and you don't control the pressure and the temperature, it's going to disassociate. The majority of it has just bubbled off uh, into the atmosphere as you've raised that rock. One of the most fascinating challenges of this project is to be able to, to drill and sample uh, these hydrate deposits. Uh, we're drilling a hole in a mile of water, uh, and then we're drilling a hole almost a thousand meters below that. You've got to go down to that uh, area You've got to take what we call a core, a small cylindrical sample of the rock that has methane hydrate into it. And while you're down there, you need to seal that uh, sample inside of a pressure vessel, like a pressure cooker, because that sample is under pressure and you have to safely store that sample for further analysis. Look, in, in the United States, uh, natural gas is, is revolutionizing uh, our, our energy supply. We're using more gas instead of coal. We're lowering CO2 emissions. Uh, and here's a resource where we know there's tremendous amounts uh, of methane, of natural gas stored. Uh, and, and we want to explore the potential for that uh, as a fuel of the future. The University of Texas is taking the lead of actually sampling these potential hydrate reservoirs in the Gulf of Mexico. At the Jackson School and at UT as a whole, we're committed to making fundamental advances. And we're also excited when there's the potential for those advances to have societal impact. A better understanding of the methane hydrate resource has the potential to change a lot of lives down the road.